We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month here at Fox 5, and the San Diego Football Club, which is making its MLS debut next year, is spearheading a Right to Dream Academy for young soccer players in San Diego and Tijuana. That's right, our Julian Delgado explains how they're building up the next generation. Twenty-two players on the pitch. A field of dreams for the future of soccer. And I just have to go out there, work hard, and try my best. And Octina makes up one of hundreds of children trying out for San Diego FC's Right to Dream Academy, a first of its kind in MLS history. I'm a big believer that it'll change the sport here in the U.S. Kids will come here, live here, go to school here, and play football. So that's, to that skill has never been done. Located in El Cajon on the Saquon Reservation, this 28-acre campus designed to nurture talent on and off the pitch for middle and high school students and their pursuit of professional soccer. So everything's paid for. Any, any, you know, no student here or player will ever play a dollar. So everything's paid for by the team. A reality Chula Vista native, Gabriel Farfan, only dreamed about growing up in America's finest city. You have this dream, these aspirations of playing at the highest level and at the time, unfortunately, there wasn't a, a professional, a first division club here. Um, but uh, so I had to find my way to, to other cities to actually make that happen. The 36 year old forced to relocate to Florida to attend a soccer academy. Now a full time talent scout back home, recruiting for North America's first Right to Dream program. Obviously, in an ideal world, it would have been nice to stay close to home, but uh, it still was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. And while construction continues on the Right to Dream Academy, the access to their MLS counterpart, pretty remarkable. We're standing in the food hall right now, and just across this bridge, where SDFC will practice, have their locker room, and front office will call home. Dining hall, for example, is a big Right to Dream a space where, you know, Chucky Lozano, one of our top players, you know, can sit and he will be eating beside an academy kid. And while you go into the gym space, it's a workout space that's shared by both academy and first team. So it's really integrated. Integration also crossing international borders. With its proximity to Tijuana, SDFC also the first MLS team in history allowed to recruit out of Mexico. We're lucky enough that FIFA rules allow us to do that. And, and you will see a roster with Mexican kids living with American kids. In El Cajon, I'm Julian Delgadio.